on today's Fate Trip Collaboration! We're gonna be paying attention to this Dragon Ball Z fan that's about to walk in the door. How do I know he's a Dragon Ball Z fan? Well, you're about to find out. Now, he's gonna walk in, not look up at the counter. He's a professional. Now, he's gonna come over here towards the fountain pop machine because he wants a delicious beverage. He's gonna look down at the cups, try and figure out what size he wants. He doesn't know, so he's going to wipe some sweat off of his forehead, look back at the fountain pop machine, still thinking about what he wants. Apparently, he doesn't want a fountain pop, so he's going to make his way back into the corner of the store so we can ascend to Super Saiyan. <laughs> Doesn't look like that worked out too well. It was a good try though, good try. You could really see the veins in his neck. I think he needed a little more oomph in his arms, but he'll get it one day. So he's going to take a look at all of the delicious beverage options that Fave Trip has to offer. And if you ask me, that is quite the impressive non-alcoholic beverage selection right there. I would consider that King Dingling tier. I can understand why it takes five to 10 minutes for some people to figure out what beverage they want. Now, he doesn't know what he wants still, so he's gonna turn around. He's gonna think about cashing out his Bitcoin real quick before he changes his mind. And he's going to take a step forward and he's going to pull up his pants a little bit, yep, right there, and he's going to make his way back towards the fountain pop machine. Now, when you've been trying to power up all day, you get real thirsty. So, he grabs a cup, and he's going to look at all of the delicious options offered on that touchscreen pop machine. So, he's going to skip the ice and get a delicious Coca-Cola. <laughs> So he grabs the cup and does what most people do, puts the cup on his forehead. You know, you really got to get a good gauge at how cold that pop is. And the best way to do that is by putting it on your forehead. Ooh, that's cold. Oh, that is good. Got to get that off my nose. Wow, that is some good coke. Holy cow, that really hit the spot. I got to get some more of that. Oh, wait a minute. Is that something floating in my Coke? What the heck is that? Uh, maybe if I spit on it. Mm, that's good. Mm, nothing beats a backwash Coke. It's really good. Mm, oh, man. That really hit the spot. What do we got over here? Ice cream? Oh. I don't think I want an ice cream on my nose, and you know what? I don't think I want this Coke. You know, now that there's something in it, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that Coke. But you know what? I think I do want a delicious beverage still, so I think I'm gonna go with some Sprite. <laughs> All right, nothing beats a delicious Sprite. Do I want anything else? It doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, that really hit the spot. A little more. That is good. That is a delicious Sprite, let me tell you. Oh, hi, Fave Trip Lady. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. I'm definitely going to pay for this pop right here. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Not. All right. I think I want something else. Maybe a delicious candy bar? Hmm? Maybe? No? Oh, what the heck? Uh, ah, something in my neck. Yeah. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Mm. Get some backwash in there and maybe some spit. Oh, yep, yeah. and I think I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> hey, sir, you gotta pay for that pop. You didn't pay for that pop, and you can't just walk out with the pop. What do you think you're doing? Whoa, what are you doing? Don't pour the pop out. You gotta pay for that pop. What the heck do you think you're doing, sir? You gotta pay for that pop. What do you think you're doing? Now get up to the counter right here. Get up to the counter and pay for that pop right now. You're not gonna pay for that pop. What are you doing, sir? All right, you're gonna be on YouTube. If you know this thief, let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with theft for stealing a fountain pot.